I guarantee this movement can change your golf altogether. And it's something we can do at home. And if you do it for five minutes a day, I guarantee better golf. What am I working on with that drill? The trail arm, the trail elbow. We need it to do this in the backswing. And I'm gonna talk a little bit towards the end of the video about the downswing move, but let's start with the backswing part here. Because if we get it good here, we're generally gonna be in a good shape, good delivery position into impact. Now, what are the key parts here? We're allowing that trail arm to go external. So external is more behind me, internal is more behind me. We want it to work more externally. We want the elbow to fold, and we really want that flat waiter's position with our trail hand. Now, if we get those things happening, tons and tons are good. What I want you to do as a drill is simply going cack-handed. So putting your lead hand, so for me as a right-handed golfer, that would be my left hand, my glove hand below my right. Don't worry about how you're gripping it. Split sort of baseball style grip, absolutely fine here. And this really gives you the sensation of folding this arm correctly downwards. Now, when I'm doing that, it doesn't have to be in here. I'm not looking for narrow. There is a little bit of width between the elbow and my body. I'm not jamming into my side. But what I will feel here as I make this move is that the lead arm will stay nice and connected away from uh, close to my body rather than this movement where I've got this big separation. So it's great to work on that takeaway movement as well. Very quiet with the wrists in that first movement, but it's really going to give me that sensation of allowing this arm to fold and work more externally in the backswing. And if I get that happening, look at that right hand position almost fingertips behind me here. That's that waiter position I'm really looking for. Now, I'm, I know I'm actually not getting a proper waiter position. I'd have to stand upright. I'm not flexible enough to get my hand there while in this position, but that is the motion, isn't it? That's the same as that. So I'm trying to feel like my fingertips are more back. Now, look at that lead wrist angle when that happens. Nice and flat, the club is very neutral. So many golfers struggle in their backswing with this type of movement where the arm is starting to rise and separate away from their body too much, and they're not getting that weight to position with their trail hand. And because of that, they struggle with, often with the swing path, definitely with the club face position, and they are two vital areas. So if we can be good at the top of the back swing position, I'm really just looking to maintain that position in the downswing. What do you start to see here? My elbow is still flexed. My elbow is moving in front of me and in front of the wrist. That's a great delivery position, very much like a throwing motion into impact. And I've recently filmed a video talking about this movement into impact, the role of that trail arm and wrist through impact. So I won't discuss it in huge detail, but I'm gonna put a link just here that I think is well worth checking out very much along these lines and this topic. So huge, huge move. But if we're good here, we should be good into this delivery position. So I've got here another little training aid that you can find very cheap online. I will put a description, or sorry, the notes on this in the description below. So if you, you are interested to have a little look at, but it's just a right angle effectively, isn't it? And I'm gonna hold this handle with my lead hand. And it's just got a little strap at the end here for my right fingertips, so my trail hand. My elbow's just gonna sit in that right angle. And I like this actually for working on the downswing parts. Let's jump into this. We're allowing that arm to fold correctly in the backswing, just like I did with that cat handed drill, which is where I want you to start and what I'd suggest is worth doing for those five minutes a day. That's my top of my backswing position. Now in the downswing, I'm just feeling like I'm pulling with my lead hand slightly towards the golf ball. And that gets my arm out in front of me. I get too many golfers in the downswing where they're trying to jam their arm downwards into their body. And when they jam their elbow in, the elbow's moving behind me external, but the hand is moving very much in front of me, almost throwing the club too steep over the top and often sacrificing that club face position as well. So the lead hand has to move down and out and in front of me to allow this trail elbow to work as I want at the start of the downswing. So that's the movement into deli delivery here. 
That's the position I'm really looking for. And again, that cat handed drill can work on the back swing and the down swing. So split your hands, allow that elbow to fold. If we're good here, it's so much easier in the down swing. But it's moving out and in front of me into that delivery stage. It's not in here. Look at the difference. That's my elbow in behind me. Well, I've thrown the club way outside. I've ended up with a very steep shaft angle. So we're not allowing that club shaft to shallow as it should. That's that delivery position we're looking for. The club edge is just behind my hands. Feel it. Allow that trail arm to set. Then try and put that arm in that position. Then feel it with a golf club. And put your lead hand to your trail hand. So elbow pointing down, way to right hand position. That's where I really want to be. So very, very good exercise where well, you could always start hitting golf balls that way, couldn't you? You know, I, I might not have had the club face as I wanted it and my grip as I wanted it, but just to start with, even if I was doing that off a small tee, I wouldn't worry too much about the direction but maybe a good drill to start with when I'm trying to hit some golf balls. I definitely then suggest doing some where you stop at the top and you could either look back in the mirror or obviously review on video. And just really working on that trail arm position at the top to help my delivery in the downswing. It is huge. It's such a vital part because it's controlling our swing path, it's controlling our club face position, they're vital areas. The next vital area, just as important, is strike location, isn't it? But if I'm able to maintain my posture because of this motion, it's gonna make it a lot easier to find A back to B, isn't it? If I'm losing my angles, I'm making it very hard to find the center of the golf club. So this movement, is all about the trail arm, but actually it has so many aspects to it. It's really gonna help you maintain your spine angle. It's really gonna help that delivery into impact. It's really gonna help your club face position and your swing path. Give it a go. Make sure you start off at home just doing that cat handed drill. As I said, I will put the description to that little training aid uh, below, so make sure you check that out. If you need something else that you could work on at home with, start off by doing somewhere you stop at the top hold it, then hit. And I know it's gonna help transform your game. If that video does help, hit the thumbs up, share with as many golfers as you can, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content just like this.